Hey everybody, welcome to the Soul Cali Dram Chan. This is your boy Caesar. And I'm Matt. And don't forget, if you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button. Also, if you've been hanging around a while, hit the like button, share it with your friends. We appreciate you hanging around. Today, we got a bottle from Caesar's Bar. Why don't you tell us about it, Caesar? My bar. So, as you guys know, uh, I, I, I've been getting a little bit into the, the Irish whiskey. I love me some Irish whiskey. And recently, I've come across this Red Breast Cask Strength. And folks, I was blown away. You know, this being the Cask Strength Month, Barrel Proof Month, the month where we need the most alcohol out of, you know. <laughs> out of, There's some things going on in the world. We yeah. need alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, we have cast strength month and this folks for it being really high in alcohol and it being a really rich irish whiskey it is my definite go-to irish whiskey from now on i love it it's great all the way around and matt why don't you pour some i was gonna say you're gonna keep talking or you let me pour the whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> well he's pouring i'll talk about my coins i got the mashing drum thank you very much and for my coaster coin and for my topper coin, I got a scotch on the bayou. What up, Lee? What's happening, Jason? Um, yeah, so I mean, I'm gonna tell you about my coin right now, of course, too. I'm using my uh, no-nonsense whiskey. This is his uh, 2020 coin. Uh, I am a patron of no-nonsense whiskey, so I was able to get this a little bit earlier than the rest of you folks. So I was really excited to get that. I got coin number 125, goes with my uh, 2019 coin. And uh, Vin, you're awesome, man. We always appreciate you. And uh, before we dive into this whiskey too much, I am gonna say this. I love Red Breast. Uh, a lot of people may not know this, but Red Breast is from the same guys that do your Jameson. They also do your Spot Series, uh, all that good stuff. And I'm really excited about this cast drink version. Like Caesar said, we've been kind of on a cast drink kick, barrel proof kick for this month. And uh, this is one that I haven't had. I love Red Breast 12 though. Red Breast 12 is a staple Irish on my bar. So something like this is presented at 55.8%, uh, close to 56%. This is I'm excited. This is actually what made us friends with uh, the GM of, oh, of yeah, McAllen's. Mm -hmm. McAllen's. Thank you, Carlos. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you. Sure. Um, we went Hope you're over doing there. well right now. With yeah. The given situation. <laughs> <laughs> we went to McAllen's for a tasting, and uh, before he even said what it was, uh, my brother Matt over here was able to name what it was, and he was kind of blown away at that, and that's what started our conversation and, and our good friendship with, with him being able to guess that. So definitely, definitely some good stuff in here and some good memories for sure. Tell me more great things about me. <laughs> no, uh, for real though, it was a really good time. We kind of just popped over there for a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we popped over there for just a simple whiskey tasting that Carlos was conducting, and uh, we had a lot of fun, and now uh, we've been fortunate enough to go to some actual whiskey pairing dinners there. Carlos, man, you're the best, man. We appreciate you. Again, we hope you're doing well during this whole situation. Yeah, and for, those, for those of you that don't know, uh, McAllen's Public House, which is bar slash restaurant right here in downtown Brea, uh, they're still doing to-go orders, so if you guys want to you know, swing by and pick up some food and some great beverages... To they take got margaritas home. to go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say what it is. It's called spade to spade. Margaritas to go, folks. Either way, you do have to order food. <laughs> either way, great stuff, great price, great quality, all the way around. If you guys haven't been there, when this whole mess is over, please go. McCallum's Public House in downtown Brea. Amazing spot, amazing GM. Great stuff. Yeah, so now let's talk about whiskey. <laughs> so this one, it's interesting to me, right? So I haven't sipped it yet, but 55, 56% doesn't smell like it. It no. smells like just regular red breast yeah. so There's a it part does. of my brain that's going, what the yeah. hell is this? It really, it really does. It really does. <laughs> like, it smells like regular. <laughs> so for me, like this one, I think I see it on the shelf for about $63, if I'm not mistaken, in our area. Uh, normal red breast 12 goes for about 40 to 45 So I'm like, okay, just on the nose. Like, I'm sure it's going to be different as soon as this hits my palate. But just on the nose, I'm like, why am I paying an extra few dollars? But again, I'm sure that's going to change as soon as but, it hits the palate. Bro. Right off the back, I can say this. Look at the legs it has. Like, you just reach it to the side and bring yeah. it down. Look at those legs. This definitely has legs. This is the segment where Matt and Caesar look at glasses like we're smart. <laughs> <laughs> and I get just as excited as if they're lady legs, but you know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you gotta make me laugh when i have cast strength in my mouth you bastard <laughs> okay initially on the palate 
doesn't drink like 58% for sure, sorry, 56% at all. Um, and we, we've been drinking a little bit tonight, obviously, because we, hey, spoilers, guys, we, we shoot a couple reviews at a time. <laughs> so we've been drinking a little bit today, but it doesn't feel like a 56% by any means. What I will say, though, is because, again, as soon as it hits my palate, it is going to be different. Mm -hmm. The regular Red Breast 12, and I feel like we should do like a comparison video, but the regular Red Breast 12 is delicious, but it's got a lot more of that toasted oak, like that barrel char. Yeah. Um, and it's not that it's bad, it's just different, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I love Red Breast 12. This doesn't have that for a really odd reason, right? So for me, this is all vanilla shortbread, a little bit of lemon, very floral. It's very light and easy sipping. Um, I could see this being like a summer dram with like one small ice cube on it, just to kind of new to the proof. Like we live in Southern California where the days can get up into like, you know, the teens over a hundred uh, and it can be really stinking hot. But if you put a small ice cube on this, just to kind of new to the proof a little bit during the summer, this would be money every time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, uh, I think it's, Honestly, I think it's sm smoother than the regular red breast, and and, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's saying something for it being higher in alcohol because because it, it's actually really good. And now that I've tasted it, to be honest, it's very reminiscent of the green spot, the green spot uh, from my favorite Irish whiskey, which is yellow spot. Still holds number one, yellow spot all day every day. You my baby girl. But um, this is definitely second place, and it's definitely reminiscent of the green spot, the uh, the the. The other version of yellow spot and, and yeah green spot is kind of the entry level for the spot series there's yeah. green spot yellow spot red spot and there's a different green spot in there as well but fun fact that standard red breast 12 and green spot start off as the same numic so essentially before they ever go into the barrel they're the same thing so once they go into different barrels, though, that's when it starts to give you a different flavor profile. And that's how that you know stuff. that we are real whiskey drinkers, when we can accurately <laughs> guess where where the hell it came from. I'll do you one better. Not so much that we're real whiskey drinkers. Like, we drink whiskey, whether we're real or not. That's a <laughs> uh, However, what I will say is, though, it's a testament to how good the new make is, right? Yeah. It's yeah. a testament to say yeah. when you're taking good quality juice, mm. putting it into a good quality barrel, and intentionally trying to define a flavor profile, you can do it so the guys at Jameson are knowing what they're doing I know it kind of hurts my heart a little bit to be like yeah this delicious thing is coming from Jameson but guess what folks Jameson's actually pretty good uh, but this guy so far I'm loving it so I did put a couple of drops of water in though uh, but like I said I haven't really gone too much back into it on the drops of water but Irish whiskey typically gives me those lighter notes, those shortbreads, the lemony flavors. So I'm excited to see what the water does yeah. to this, but I'm also kind of expecting it to just kind of heighten those flavors. And, and for those of you at home that are like, well, there's just Jameson, why don't I just buy Jameson? No, 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 no. You That's need what to we call a dong <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do not, No, you, can, you, you still need to try this if you try Jameson. It, it's a noticeable difference noticeable difference it's like same company making different it's like scion and toyota both same company but one's you know significantly better than the other even though they're the same company so scion and toyota that's what you went okay hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first thing that came to mind you couldn't have gone gone like ford cadillac or not sorry not ford cadillac ford lincoln <laughs> there you go i see i don't know that's the first thing i come up with i just don't know which one wins this is a scion like they're not great. I mean, Toyota at least maintains its value. Scion just kind of makes you look... Y'all ever seen New Girl? You know Schmidt? In the show, he's got a douche jar, like a douchebag jar. And so whenever he says something like a douchey comment, all of his roommates go, jar, and he has to put money in the jar. Scion's kind of like a douchey thing. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies if you drive a Scion. I really like it. Their cars are actually really cool. The cube's just disgusting. Hey, anyway, well, back to whiskey. Yeah, back to whiskey. <laughs> Just because we have Jameson doesn't mean, oh, I've had red breast. No, 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 Not no. Not even close. No, you need to get into this bad boy right here and then get that palate really developed so you know what we're talking about. But this uh, single pot still is, is definitely amazing. Amazing. And what I will say is, it's not to say that hints of Jameson aren't in this. But where Jameson is metallic-y to me anyway, like it's like... <sighs> 
Okay, dumb thing. When I was a kid, I used to chew on money because I was stupid. So like I would bite onto a quarter and there'd be like that metallic -y taste because hey, lo and behold, it's metal. Uh, I know, overshare, but nonetheless. <laughs> um, that's, that's what Jameson tastes like to me though. It tastes like a metallic -y overture of flavor. This has a little bit of metallic -y taste, but it's immediately overlaps by vanilla. When you get water on it, you get like a buttery smoothness that kind of just coats your mouth. Um, kind of like when you're cooking like a steak with like a garlic butter and that butter, like once you actually bite into the steak and the butter just kind of dissipates. Yeah. Oh my God, that's what I'm getting off of this. And for 56%, I'm still not really feeling the alcohol. I'm sure once I stand up, it's going to be like Jack Sparrow, why is the rum gone? Oh, that's why. But this is really good. I'm it's really, really liking good. this. And to be honest, folks, when he was saying that, <laughs> I just pictured him. Like, uh, if you guys ever seen the original... There's a quarter right there, I'll do it. <laughs> if you guys ever picture or seen the movie uh, The Leprechaun and they try to test the gold, like the big guy, he's like, well, if it's real gold, it's supposed to bend when you bite it. And I picture him just being like... Okay, you're not wrong. I didn't live under power lines, though, and I didn't eat paint chips, just quarters, okay? <laughs> but back into the taste, to be honest, folks, this this might be for you you know ethnic folks out there uh you mexican folks i really like you know you got that tree in the backyard that ain't no one really wants the guavas but you always give it away like oh mira i have a tree of guavas in my backyard so let me give it away because i'm a nice person like that yeah this right here tastes like guavas to me it tastes like guavas like mixed up with a little bit of some high-end alcohol and bam so for you uh, brown drinkers out there like me that really have a guava tree in their back and actually like that guava taste because at first I really didn't, then I think this is a good whiskey to get into for you guys because it, it has a like a, a nice, rich alcohol, lighter, bland guava taste. So I'm the white friend that would pick up the guavas. <laughs> And I can say that because that's the kind of relationship that we have. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, you might have seen me. I poured a little bit more whiskey on it. It's not that the flavor changed. Honestly, it's just that I wanted more of it. <laughs> I know this bottle's going to go back home tonight. It makes me sad. <laughs> um, yeah, so 56%, $62. It's not that much more than the regular 12, um, but there is a discernible difference. So at that price point... For the booze in the bottle, the flavor profile that I'm getting, the fact that I love red breasts, man, is there enough of a difference between the regular 12 and the cast drink 12 for me to go from a three to a four? I gotta say no. It's not saying that's bad, but it's just saying that I'm gonna give it a three. Um, the fact that we've been drinking things like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Stag Jr., Jack Daniels Barrel Select, a couple other ones, right? This goes toe to toe with them. And as far as like lighter flavor profiles go, this is one of the best I've had. Um, and I would drink this all day, every day. But is there a $25 difference in terms of flavor for me to pony up that extra money when I know he's got a bottle? Eh, I don't know. Some days, yes. Some days, maybe not. Maybe there's some days I pick up a different bottle versus this. That said, though, I'm never turning up my nose to this. I'm never going to not welcome a glass. If I'm in a bar and it's a good price, I'm still going to grab it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid three. It's something that I will definitely buy at some point to have on my personal bar. But until he's out of it, I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> So I, I'm definitely give this a solid three as well. I, I I rate this up with the yellow yellow spot. I think they're just as good as each other. Uh, as far as Irish whiskey goes, I think it's the best you can come across as far as retail wise that you can find available. Yeah, it's readily and, available. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to go on a hunt for this. Like sometimes, yeah, but I've seen it on the shelves routinely. Hands down, I've... as far as retail price, as far as Irish whiskey, it's definitely the best, tied with the best you have available. But the reason why I'm calling it a three is because with this month and the special category that we're in, which is, you know, cast strength, bourbon strength, meaning that higher alcohol percentage than normal. Uh, I've had some other stuff in that category specifically where I was blown away of the flavor profile, even though it was so high in alcohol. So simply because of that, I'm going to call it a three and not a four because of the category it's in. But as far as Irish whiskey, as far as regular whiskey, as far as you know, the average goes, it's definitely high up there. It, it's well, well, well above average, well above average. 
but as far as placing it in the category where you know you got 60% alcohol 65% alcohol like high and stuff where you have to be high quality in order to taste the, the characteristics of the liquid after the alcohol, then in that case, I'm naming it a three, which is still good, still great, but I'm just saying like, for example, that Elijah Craig, blown away that it tastes like Reese's Pieces at 60 something percent alcohol and it still tastes like Reese's Pieces. I was like, yo, this, this has my money. That's a four all day. So, well, and that's, I mean, at retail, it's a $60 bottle. Yeah. It's cheaper than this. Yeah. So it's, it, again, you have to kind of, fortunately enough, we don't get beat up too much on our scores as of yet. I'm sure it's going to happen <laughs> at some point. Uh, for all you new people that haven't subscribed, you're going to beat us up, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Please but do. It's, it's different, right? It's $62 versus Elijah Craig C919, which is $60. And the flavor profile on that is a lot higher. And I don't want to sound like we're defending our scores on this. It's just the value of the bottle, exactly. right? It's like the exactly. flavor profile. And maybe that's just because that's Irish whiskey and Irish whiskey traditionally is going to be a lighter flavor profile. Yeah, exactly. And maybe one day we exactly. get to try a Red Breast 27 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And hey, awesome. But I'm just wondering kind of like how that goes as we go down that path. But like I said, this is still great. Amazing. I still think the fact that we're lined up on it says kind of unanimous consent that like you should have this or at least try it at yeah, some point. If sure. you love Irish whiskey and you haven't had this, go out and try yeah, it. You're not you going to regret it, for it sure. because it's something that you will be familiar with in terms of the flavor profile, but it's something that you're really going to enjoy. Um, and again, say what you want about it in terms of our score. I poured myself a little bit more. We're going past 15 minutes on this yeah. review. It's giving us engagement. Yeah. Maybe it is worthy of a four. Yeah, for but real. as of right now, it's a three. Um, yeah, so guys, that's really all I got to say about the bottle. You got anything else you want to say about the bottle? Not except for, remember folks, if I give it a two, that means I'm willing to replace it on my shelf. So a three is still really good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey guys, for real, it's been it's been a good time with this bottle, no lie. If you get a chance, pick it up, or if you get a chance, try it. Uh, try before you buy is what I would say ultimately yeah. on this one, because again, it is it is a pricey bottle, and right now with the state of the world, who knows if we can go out and spend $62 on a bottle. But nonetheless, guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like the video, share it with your friends. You can hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all the socials. You know how to find us, and hey guys, more than anything during this time of uncertainty we just want to say thank you for sticking around with us we really do appreciate it uh it means the world to us uh whether it's just us kind of helping you get through your day of monotony whether you're working from home or you know worse unfortunately in these kind of situations we really do appreciate you not just watching our videos but kind of just it's gonna sound really corny, but kind of just bringing us into your life, right? Bringing no, us into your real. daily routine. Yeah. So we really do appreciate yeah. it, guys. We hope we're able to bring you at least a little bit of laughs with our dumbness, I guess. <laughs> yeah, thank, th thank you for letting us try to entertain you, to say the least. There's a whole, whole lot of trying going on over here, <laughs> but not a whole lot of succeeding. But nonetheless, guys, we appreciate you sticking around. You got anything else you want to add? No, what about you, Matt? Stay safe and drink well, folks. All aboard. Catch you next time. <laughs> hey everybody, hope you liked that video. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And don't forget to subscribe.